It's coffee time, y'all. Let's talk. Let's talk supper tonight. Check out my new mug. You see it. God bless America, land that I love. And on the other side, it's coffee time with John and Mama. Right on the Etsy store. Mmm. That coffee's so good. First thing, we got to do a little housekeeping. I purchased us some wireless microphones. Mama, uh -oh. talk and see if they can hear you. Can you hear me any good? Can you hear us? First of all, if I not, like I normally do it. <laughs> talk real low, Mom. Whisper like you do. Um, good evening. How are you? Hello there, John and Mom. Uh, Charlotte, how are you? Can you all hear us? On these different microphones. Especially Hello from Warrington. Hello from Roanoke, Alabama. Hey, Mama and John. Hey, Mary. Are y'all able to hear us? Hey, Patty. Happy Fourth of July. Happy Fourth of July to you, Charlotte. Happy Fourth of July, everybody. I can hear you both. Yay, Amy. Good. Yay. So can you hear Mama good? Are you is it yeah. like she's on can that you microphone? Hear me <laughs> I hear you just fine. All right, Wonder, we're gonna go with it. So everybody says they can't hear Mama, including me. So I found these cordless mics, and I thought that's what we need. We tried a corded one one time, and that didn't work out good. But um, it just didn't come through good on the phone. So hopefully these will make you all be able to hear Mama. Uh, even when she's over there, when she's talking, and I won't have to repeat everything she says. Someone <laughs> said, why not? How can you repeat everything she says? And I thought, well, half the time people can't hear her. Or she's and over at the stove good. or over at the sink. And you listen real good and repeat. Yeah. So, yeah, that's what I did, Mama. So you all can hear Mama good. Thanks for those stars. Hi there. Nice to see you. Nice to see you too, Susan. How are you? Hello, Krista. Quick, can the Easy Bake go in the microwave? Huh? The Easy Bake? No. Oh, well, come back down here. The Easy Bake. Patty Terry. The Easy Bake is a toaster oven. It's not in the microwave. The Micro Pro Grill from Tupperware can go in the microwave. But the Easy Bake no. is a, a KitchenAid toaster oven. And we use it instead of the big oven. It cannot go in the microwave. No. So, no, no. Tell them about the pork chops. So Mama's going to go fix these pork chops. She's got these on sale. Look at them. They're beautiful. Where's the price? Over. Mama put throw the price away. But they're just six little cutlets, and we'll fry them all. And uh, what we'll do is we'll eat one tonight. We'll eat one for breakfast in the morning. And maybe have a a sandwich or something. So we'll get two meals out of that or three. I'm peeling up some regular potatoes. These are just regular Irish potatoes, russets. And we're gonna have mashed potatoes, grilled pork chops, and you all guessed it. Fried pork chops. Fried pork chops. And, um, and we're gonna have pork and beans because that's what we love together. Can y'all hear Mama as she's over there? And that Mama's that water and stuff will probably be extra loud too. I'm sorry about the water now. I have to work Funny, I was planning on having pork chops for supper too. It's wonderful. Anxious to see how you make yours? Well, Betty, it'll be very simple. It'll be salt and pepper, put in a frying pan with a little bit of avocado oil, and that's all my likes to put on hers. Now, we make them different ways. Y'all probably have seen us make them. Sometimes I put different stuff on them, and the one night I put, um, um, ranch dry powder on them and put the the um, flour on them. Remember I made half of them that went half of them plain for Mama. Mama ended up liking the ranch ones real good, but we've not had them that way more. Uh, Mama wants... How are you making those tonight, Mama? Plain old fried pork chops. I'm starving and I want... Mama's starving. She's, she's not eating. Did you eat anything today, Mama? I ate the... No sound at all. Hazel. I can hear... I can hear Mama. You can, Patty? 
Okay, Hazel said no sound at all. I can't hear Mama. Mama, talk. Uh, I uh, ate a egg, scrambled egg this morning, and then I ate cantaloupe for lunch, and I've worked out quite a bit. It worked today. She's been in the garden planting. She's planting those tomatoes. You know, the other night, Wednesday night, I told you, I bet she was out there planting. Well, she really wasn't. She was planting some things, but not those tomato plants. But she got on those today. Her sister was here, and I reckon Mama just had a garden day. And it was it was uh, not too hot. It was only in the 90s. I tell her, Mama, don't get out there when it's above 85. She loves it. Can't keep her out there. But at least somebody was here today to watch her. Yeah. She burnt some stuff. Thought she's just had a day of it. Have you been inside any today, Mama? I was inside all morning and outside all evening. Well, there you go. You've got a balance of going. Yeah. Mama does what she wants to do, and the doctor, now she has a prescription from the doctor. I can't hear good. Love your cooking videos. Grab chicken nuggets on the way. Um, I've done that plenty of times, Pat. Okay, we're doing a new microphone today. Thank you for those stars. I can hear Mama just fine. So they can hear Mama and she's over at the stove. John, I just uh, had pork chops. Did you, Carolyn? Fried, yeah. I didn't cook got KFC. See, that's wonderful for Friday night. If we had a KFC closer than uh, 24 miles, we would have okay, KFC a lot. A lot. Uh, our nearest one is 12 miles down the road. And then you got to drive back. So it's a round trip. So um, if it was closer, like if it was here in town, that would be something we would stop by and get quite often because <laughs> Mama loves Kentucky Fried Chicken. She loves the KFC. Mama, don't forget you got that microphone. So if you're making noise, it'll be probably extra loud. Can y'all hear Mama when she's talking over there? Because she's way away from the microphone over there. The phone microphone. So, <coughs> can y'all hear Mama coughing? I'm trying to keep my hand over the... I don't know if we'll like it. I can hear both of you just fine. Great, Sandra. Uh, y'all sound fine. Good. If we sound fine, that's the only microphones we got going. So I'm sure that's what it's from. So we hope they work. We hope that makes the viewing more pleasurable. Hope we don't get too loud. We may have some growing pains with it. Y'all may have to bear with us. Tell us when we're too loud or if, if the frying over there is too loud. And so everything's going to change just a little bit since we have these uh, on us. But I think it will help y'all hear mom. I don't think nobody ever had any trouble hearing me with the old microphone we were using. Are y'all hearing Mama slinging dishes and stuff? I hear y'all fine. Love y'all. Well, thank you, Cheryl. We love y'all, too. Love seeing you and Mama. You can hear both very well. Thank you, Bobby. That's what we've been trying to do the whole time is find something that everybody can hear both of us. And I've had a big microphone hooked up to the phone. We've not been using the phone microphone. Uh, <clears throat> so I hope these, these uh, lapel mics will work. So that's what's going on new here at Coffee Town. And I hope you can hear Mama. And I hope she don't make so much noise. Y'all say, Mama, take that off. We don't want to hear that. But if she is going to make noise, we can take it off. Lay it over here. And then when she's ready to top, we can put it back on her. So we can kind of have the best of both worlds. Now I use a cutting board to cut potatoes and just it really don't matter so much uh, the least surface area I think some people say is the best but as long as you get them all pretty much the same size so they'll cook the same some people quarter them some people slice them I quarter them and then I slice them kind of thin so they'll cook quicker uh, Mama holds hers in her hand and quarters them and cuts them up. I break all the rules. She says. I'm repeating her. 
Did you all hear her say that without me repeating? Thanks for the stars, Bonnie. I can hear her, but not clearly. You are always clear. Sharon, she's over there frying. I hope you all can hear better when she's not frying. It will make everything louder, including the noise she makes, so bear with us. They won't want me to wind it after tonight. Well, we're just trying to find a way we can hear good. We've tried different microphones in the past. Tried using the iPad in the past. It's just all experimenting, seeing what works and don't work. I don't know what's the, what's the best. We hope these do. Oh, where y'all been up to today? Y'all had a wonderful Friday. That every day is wonderful. Some days, like we say, we have good days and better days. But it seems like there is some kind of magical power about Friday that if you're going to be off the weekend, you feel like, well, if I can get through today, I'll get two days off. And this week, about everybody probably has three days off. I don't know. Some people have to work, but some people... I'm sure we'll be off. I'll be off for a three-day weekend. Mama, say something now that you're up here quiet. Oh, I know they can hear me now. They heard me over. I saw that noise. Can y'all hear Mama good? Thank y'all for helping us test this. Here at the pork shop, Friday, y'all, Angel, they are, they are doing their best over there. I guess they have a little water in them. They're a little bit noisy, aren't they? I washed them. I can't stand to fix them. They're not washing them. <laughs> Mama's guilty. Don't kill that one. I don't think we need it. Okay. All right, Mama. You caught me right out of it. Peeling another potato. Let's tilt y'all down here. Oh, over here where I can see what you're saying. Always bear with you. I love you. Well, Sharon, thank you so much. We love having y'all here. We have the, the page is growing. We have several new members. So if you're new to Coffee Time, we welcome you. If you've been here a while, you know you're welcome. Your family. Um, if you're on Coffee Time, just remember this: we pray for y'all every day, and we pray for prayer requests uh, that we have on here. We don't get to answer all of them on here, but know that they're all prayed for. Uh, Faith says yes. You can hear Mama. Uh, hear the frying. Uh, paid bills went grocery shopping. That's a good Friday. Meatloaf. I love me some good meatloaf. Stopped and picked up two apple pies from Hart. Oh, yeah. Apple pies. Uh, we always get the pizza on Friday. You know, we used to do that on Tuesdays with our pizza night. Some people had Taco Tuesdays. We had uh, Tuesday pizza night. And that was, we pretty well knew we were going to pizza on Tuesdays. Uh, that was Dad's thing. That's what he liked to do. And that's what we did. So now the this recipe is super simple. You just open up a can of pork and beans. And really and truly, that's all we, that's all we do. So we don't do another thing. Pork and beans in a bowl. And uh, they are delicious. I'm almost trying to get my lid and it wouldn't come out of the can opener. That's all we do. Open up a can of pork and beans, have some homemade mashed potatoes, and fry them pork chops. Mama put salt and pepper on them. And I've done my part on this meal right here, Mama. Pork chops. You got potatoes you can take from here. And I've got the pork and beans. Typically, we have light bread with this meal, but we probably won't have any bread tonight. Hi, John, could you show us what you are cooking? Uh, yes, I will. I'll show you the pork chops. They're, she just turned them. Um, Mama, you wanna bring the pork chops over here, put a hot pad right there, and that way I won't have to move y'all. Uh, hello, John and Mama, I'm having pork chops too. Isn't it a good night for pork chops, Donna? Mama's going to show you the where she's at with them right now. I know y'all like to see. I would take you over there, but then we have to move, and some people say it makes them ill. So here's where we're at so far. Things got to go a little while longer. 
But she all she did was put salt, pepper on both sides. Yeah, they're not crazy. Put them in avocado oil, and she's letting them brown. So that's the the pork chops. Now we don't need six pork chops tonight. We'll have one of those, and then we'll. As hungry as I feel. Mama says she needs all six of them. Oh, I can't read out We'll have them for breakfast, and we'll have them. Uh, if not, we'll have them for supper tomorrow night. Uh, I hear the frying as well. Y'all you know, um, love beans and mashed potatoes. Isn't it, isn't it good? I love the pork and beans and mashed potatoes. Hey there. Uh, I have always quartered my potatoes a bit. Let's see what you're saying. Maybe you can teach me something. I have always quartered my potatoes, but a friend of mine makes... A, little cubes and they do cook quickly. Uh, Mama makes little cubes. Yeah, Mama, Mama makes little cubes. Y'all went dark, where are you at? Come back. Are y'all in there? Hmm, I don't know what happened. My screen just went dark. No, you're coming back. Okay, we're back. I don't know what happened. Uh, love beans and mashed potatoes. I do too. That's been always our favorite. Now, some people have peas, and we have had peas with pork chops. Some people have other variety, and you can. Sometimes we open up a can of corn, but we're not tonight. Um, just these three things. The basics. The basics. That's it. I had fresh green beans and corn, but we had that the other night, Ginger, and they were good. Mama didn't have much to can, but she had enough to eat. Those look delicious. Thank you, Lorreen. Thank you all for those stars. Y'all are so kind. We are going to have a cook along, not this weekend, hopefully next weekend. And we'll be making Mama's Cherry Delight dessert. We showed it one day a month ago. It's got cream cheese, it's got flour, it's got a cake mix. It's got uh, graham crackers. Well, they use vanilla wafers, but I go to have graham crackers. graham crackers myself. Uh, I layered them in the bottom of my dish, and since it's just me and Johnny, I well, I used a whole can of cherry pie filling, and then I put uh, a block of cream cheese. I just spread it out over it in little pieces. And then I took a half of a yellow cake mix and just sprinkled it dry over it. And did I melt butter and put over top of the cake mix? You I did. Think so I had to stick Patricia, we do sometimes spread our pork chops, but not tonight. I did the recipe not too awfully long ago where I put flour and dried ranch, just the powder. Mama really liked that. Um, she didn't think she would. Uh, I saw somebody said, did I say avocado oil? Yes, we have started using avocado oil. It's got a 500 degree smoke point. Olive oil has uh, much lower than that. I don't know exactly where it is. But the avocado oil cooks well. It doesn't change the flavor of your food. Uh, you can get it on Amazon. Uh, but it's, so far we've, been, we've liked it fine, have we, Mama? We've not cooked anything in it we didn't like in it. And it's, said to be healthy for you. I use my Tupperware steamer to do potatoes. We do too, Jackie, sometimes. Uh, we, do, we do a lot of things uh, in Tupperware, but when we're filming, we know everybody doesn't have those products. So we want to show you how we how you can do it because we and certainly I, have done and it. I'm way. <laughs> and Mama does like to do things like she's always done them. And that's fine because it's good. Uh, now, we'll use the micro pro grill for pork chops most of the time uh, in the steamer for the potatoes if we're just cooking. And sometimes we do that for you all, but uh, we don't want to do it every time because some people don't have that. Um, this was our Thanksgiving dinner. Was, uh, we had to kill hogs every Thanksgiving just about it. And that's what we had pork chops for our Thanksgiving dinner. We didn't have turkeys a lot when we were growing up. Cream cheese mixed with Cool Whip, Leah, for the Cherry Delight. That would be good. We might make some homemade whipping cream for it. Um, did you get my, what did we get? 
my comment with the Thousand Star set. Hmm, let me look here and see, did you just send it? I may have missed it when Mama was talking now. Caleb? Caleb, I don't see it. I'll look and see though. I can go back. When it's over, I'll go back and get it. I do see comments sometimes with the stars. And that's where it says something about paying for comments. And some of y'all got confused that you had to buy a star to buy a to comment. No, that's just if you want to send stars and put a comment on it. But Caleb, I'll look at it and see. Uh, do I have brothers and sisters? Nope. I'm an only child. We get asked that a lot on here. Uh, we try to answer it at least every once in a while. Can't hear mama at all. Elaine? Is anybody else having trouble hearing mama? I bought it from, I can't hear nothing. Now can they hear me? Now can they hear y'all? Sending stars, thank you. Thank you for the stars. Uh, who sent those right there? Yonda, thank you for the stars on the Bailey. It's a big toaster oven, so can't go in the dishwasher. Paula, yeah, it's a t it's an electrical toaster oven. The Easy Bake is not a Tupperware product or something like that. It's just a toaster oven made by KitchenAid. It's got a convection oven and an air fryer on it, and that's the reason we bought it. Is because my mom wanted to try an air fryer, but we really don't have extra counter space to de dedicate to another appliance. Hello, Felicia Warren. How are you? Hi, Paul and Sherry. How are you all? Love my Tupperware I got from Mama. So glad, uh, you know, so you're welcome. Glad you all like it. Some people don't like it at all, and some people love it. So that's the reason I always put Tupperware demonstration or Tupperware in the, thank you, Kathy, for the stars, in the announcement at the top in the title so you'll know what you're in for. Her mic is not loud enough. Her mic's not loud enough. You didn't turn it off enough to have your mama. I hope not. Can y'all hear it better? Well, here, mama, take mine and see if it's any better. See, these technical difficulties. <laughs> Part of life. See if it's her mic or if it was just whatever, and I'll use this one. Uh, the poor chop noise is drowning mama out. Well, we figured that, so we yeah. may, if she's over there making noise, we'd probably just leave her mic play here on the counter and she can pick it up when she comes back. Uh, Taryn, thank you for the stars. I just, Taryn, did I destroy your name? Thank you for them. Uh, I am, I'm an only child as well. <laughs> Denise, oh, right. me too. I love it when you show mama a Tupperware party for the month. Well, thank you, Angela. A lot of people do, and a lot of people don't. Uh, it's, it's, you know, if we can be accommodating, we can. Sometimes we can't make everybody happy. I get people twerk all the time for using that small knife now. <laughs> I used to use the big one, and people would say, John, that knife is too big. And I still use the big one. And I like the big one. Uh, it does a good job. But the little one, the blade is little on these, but look here. These are Tupperware, but they have a wonderful handle. I love the ergonomic handle. I mean, it, it's just, it fits your palm, it doesn't slip, it's a good size handle. The blade is a little small looking, but it's pointy and it's sharp. Look at that, you can see the shine, like, look at that. It is a sharp booger. I have. Never sharpened one of those. Yeah, I did too. I sharpened one a long time ago, but this is not one I've sharpened. And uh, it, you can peel stuff with it, you can chop it, cuts up good. So I do like the little thing. It gets very aggravated sometimes, so yeah. And then this one, people say, that knife is too big, John. So I either use this one. Look here. 
use this one or this one? I don't use the big one. I use the little one all the time. Mama uses the little one. You go from one extreme to the other. Well, they both do a good job. Yeah. I have never sharpened this way. Uh, but I have sharpened one of the small ones one time. Mama, do you want me to cut up some of these apples and whip up some applesauce for those pork chops? No, I don't think we need You don't want no applesauce? I made no. strawberry applesauce the other day. Now, tonight I would make I cinnamon. I got a jar of applesauce already. You want to do it and I'll just put some vanilla and cinnamon in it? Yeah, I can do that and get you a jar. If that's what you want. I can go get it and I fix it both. I was using talk. Mamas don't want to talk to us. Um, I've got some fresh apples here that I bought last week. I could peel them up and make some applesauce in a hurry. But jar applesauce is good too. We like to have applesauce with our pork chops. Y'all remember the show? Um, well, I think it was Brady Bunch and it was Peter had pork chops and applesauce. That was a phrase from that show. That's not mine. That belongs to the people who created and wrote uh, the show. I'm almost, it's Peter Brady, the Brady Bunch. <laughs> You had to say his name before you took that. Right. Serrated. Janice. Yeah, you can use the serrated knife. I think that's what got everybody upset. I was using this to cut tomatoes the other night. But it's sharp and it does a good job and I had no problem with it. Uh, where's our Tupperware link? I will put it on the comments as soon as we get through here. Um, Facebook don't like it so much when you put them above. So um, I will put them in the comments. Uh, at the July link, and I posted all the July stuff. Uh, July is back, um, about back to school, meal prep, water bottles you don't have to throw away. Uh, July is just a wonderful month for a lot of specials on there. So go check it out. Mott's applesauce. We're just gonna use some store-bought Mott's tonight. Um, we use different kinds. This must have been what the Save a Lot had. No, they just got some Save a Lot. They don't have that. They have that girlfriend. That's, oh, so they that, that didn't have that Save a Lot? Uh-uh. Okay. Let me get some vanilla. You're leaving the camera. Well, Mama, you can sing them a song. Can't you? Sure. Mama, what you do with the sin? It's in the little Tupperware container right up on the top. It's right here, ain't it? No, right there. Oh, there it is. Ta-da! Right here it is. Hello, oh, people. I'm a little slap happy tonight. Y'all ever get so tired, you're just plain old slap happy. I am wore out today. I don't know why. I think it's a combination of the week. This has been a little hard week. Y'all have there those weeks. That need to spill y'all. If you want to do a quick and easy applesauce, you don't want to peel and chop. I'm just going to put probably about half a jar of this applesauce in here. Because this will just be for pork chops tonight. And I'm going to put, can y'all see? I'm going to put one cap of vanilla in here, which is equivalent to a teaspoon. Mama, you got awful quiet over there. Just kind of quiet down. Pork chops is done. Potatoes are done. No, potatoes is done. Okay. This is just cinnamon, and this is just in a Tupperware. Um, spice container. Mama likes these because she can just keep it down there lower. I've got a big thing of cinnamon that y'all sent us and I just poured a little bit of it in here because um, Mama wants it down there lower where she can grab it. The big ones are in the other cabinet and they're up a little higher. And I'm gonna put about a, a teaspoon of cinnamon in here. Cinnamon is really good for you. And it's delicious. I love cinnamon. I love to smell cinnamon. I love the Christmas smells of cinnamon. Now into this applesauce, I've got just a half a jar of this applesauce 
And this applesauce is a 24 ounce jar, so let's say 12 ounces of applesauce. I've got a teaspoon of cinnamon and a teaspoon of vanilla. And I'm gonna put literally a dash dash of salt. And that's just to intensify that sweetness. Stir it up, folks. That's as hard okay. as that gets. And it'll be delicious. Applesauce is good when nothing else is, but it's delicious with your pork chops. I've got a recipe that you uh, pour the applesauce over the pork chops. I've made it before, but I've not, I don't think I've ever made it in here. And that's it, folks. Delicious apple, so, or uh, cinnamon applesauce for your pork chops. And that's all you have to do for that, folks. Simple, simple, simple. Okay, I'm sorry, I can't see from that distance. I have to pull you over here. They don't ask for money. Kim, we aren't asking for money. No, you're right. Did somebody say we was? There's a little blurb down here that says, Coffee Time with John and Mama. During the broadcast, you can support my page with sending stars, a digital gift that helps me earn money. That's the explanation of stars, and that is automatically, every time we go live, that automatically goes on there from Facebook. I've never typed that. That's nothing that we've ever done. But if you look at any other show that does stars and has any advertisements, that'll be on theirs too. That's something Facebook does. Uh, once you get so many followers, you get so many likes, then they start asking you to do stars, and they start asking you to do that. But we don't ever charge money for anything but the cookbooks. And those are $17. And that all goes to the church. And so, and then, of course, we sell the Tupperware. But those are all extras. But Coffee Time, the show, is free. Free to comment. Free to the recipes. We try to post them. They're free. Uh, all the other is just, if you want to. If you don't want to, ignore it. Uh, some people get a little sideways over it. I can't help it. That's just the way it is. Uh, we don't put that on there. Right here it is. We don't put that on there. Um, and we're not asking for any money. You can watch us, hopefully, for the next 20 years, if we last that long, for free. Thank you uh, for answering that for me. Hello, John and Mama. How's your day going? Donna, it's been wonderful. It has been a beautiful day. We had a little quick pop-up shower. Uh, now, we didn't it. You didn't pay the preacher, Mama. Oh, I'm going to start doing better. If y'all ever heard that, if somebody says they got rain, you didn't, and then they didn't pay the preacher. Um, but we had a little pop-up shower in downtown Jellico, and it kind of wet the grass a little bit. Didn't do much, but it did help a little bit. We are scheduled to have rain for the next five days. Possibility of chance. I don't care if it is 4th of July. It can rain a little bit. It won't be a washout, but we need the rain, folks. My yard's still brown uh, in places. It did a little bit of rain we got the other day, Sunday, with an inch and a half. It did green it up a little bit, but we could use a little bit more. I'm sure y'all could, too. Kristen, thank you for the stars. Hey, Janice, how are you? Roaster, how are you? Happy 4th of July, John and Mama. Enjoy watching you from Arkansas. Well, Roaster, you're just right there. You're just next door to Tennessee. Um, happy 4th of July, everybody. You know, 4th of July is a season. 4th of July will start for most people tonight. Actually, last night they already started in fireworks here. Uh, I heard some over, uh, the, not our neighbors, next door neighbors, but over the hill. Uh, last night there was quite a few going on. Um, Maggie hates them. She hates everything about them. She don't even want to be outside. If she can hear them, she's close enough to hear them, she don't like it. Uh, she crawls up under her bed or her pits. She crawls up under my feet most of the time. Um, if you have fur babies and they're out, even if they're out all the time and they're not indoor fur babies, we'll watch them. You know, make sure you got a collar on them with your name and your phone number in case they run. They get scared and they run. And they run so far they forget how to get home. So watch your fur babies and be, be um, courteous. I mean, I want y'all to shoot your fireworks. 
Don't get me wrong. But you know, nine o'clock, ten o'clock, eleven o'clock should be the absolute latest in my opinion. But there's folks that has to work the next day. And there's folks that want to go to bed. Um, so be courtesy. And there's uh, old people like me that needs to sleep. Mama says there's old people like her. Uh, there you go repeating it and they probably hurt. Can y'all hear her? I keep asking that, but I want to make sure the experience of the video is better. I hate when it's blurry. I hate when it freezes. I can't do anything about it most of the time, but I just hate it. And I hate when you can't hear us. Happy 4th of July. Love pork toast, mashed potatoes, peas. Uh, stay safe, Mary. We are not having peas tonight, but we have. Uh, peas is usually our traditional meatloaf bit side. We have mashed potatoes, corn peas, and meatloaf. We have pork chops, pork and beans, and mashed potatoes, and applesauce. Hey, Jill, how are you? Hey, Tina. My fur babies don't like it either. Most fur babies don't. But you can understand, their hearing is so much better than ours. So you magnify what you're hearing by about 10, and I'd say it would be scary. And there's no reason for it in their minds. They don't know it's the 4th of July. They just know that all of a sudden everything's blowing up around them. My dog lost his hearing, uh, but could still, yeah, they can feel it in the flashes. Yeah. This is not a good time for fur babies. Even if your dog don't run off, even if they just hang around, it's a little bit intimidating for them. So be extra cautious of that. Mike don't know she's a dog. Well, I know mom. Maggie thinks she's the queen. I call her the princess, but she really thinks she's the queen. Love pork chops, they are wonderful. Um, we did have some people on here. Someone uh, messaged me yesterday and said they'd make comments on ours and it, it was some people make comments to her, some men. Folks, I don't know what they get out of that. I don't know what the point is. As long as you don't click on them or respond to them, they can't get to your page. But if you go click on them and you go in and click on something they show, then that's how they get you. So just commenting on here. I don't think anybody's in any danger of that. Just ignore them. Um, you can call them out. Nola usually scans them and she sends me a list and I try to go back and uh, ban them. But they have 25 or 30 profiles. And people, the picture you're seeing is definitely probably not the person who's on there. So don't get taken away with anybody who you think, well, he looks nice or he's got kind eyes or, you know, I don't think he'd be a bad fella. He looks very good. That's a, they've stole those pictures off Facebook, just like they stole the YouTube stuff from mom and I. Their page looks like ours but on YouTube, but um, it's not us. It's our videos, but they just stole them. They just took them. I don't know. I've debated. I've talked to other people. I'm thinking about just closing our stuff down on YouTube and just sticking with Facebook only. Having our Instagram page to show a few pictures. But uh, we've not really posted that much stuff on YouTube. And that way I could just say we don't have a YouTube. You know, we do have one. And it's got several videos on it, but not that many. Because it takes me all day long to upload one. And it ties my phone up. So I just don't put many on there. I know some people can go live on there and it's better, but I'm not, I don't do it. Hello. Hello, Betty. Betty Powers, thank you for being on here and thank you for those I'm hearts. Gonna drink your coffee. My fur baby, uh, yes ma'am. My fur baby, oh, Ann. Let's send out hearts and love for Ann Holloway. Her fur baby just passed away. Oh. Oh, Ann, I tell you, I tell you, Ann, just the thoughts of that breaks my heart. Uh, if something happened to Maggie, you'd probably have to, I don't know, it'd be, it'd be bad times. We had a, we had a dog before her named Sierra. We had her nine years and we still, we still can't get over that. And Sierra's been gone 12 years. You never get over it, folks. You get through it. By the grace of God and the power of prayer, you get through stuff like that. If you have a fur baby and you say it's just a dog, then you don't have a fur baby. You have a pet. Uh, when a pet turns the corner in your life and they're a family member, uh, it's different. It's different. Um, we've had 
pets outside before and we've had, you know, but I've loved them all. We're crazy over our animals. Uh, we even had a cow one time named Ron Ron and we went and dad thought we was fattening it up to slaughter and we were fattening him up because we loved him and then we wouldn't eat him and we wouldn't let dad kill him. Couldn't eat it. Dad said, you all live on a farm. You know better than to get it attached to it. Too bad where he was. So he hung around here for a long time. We loved him. But, uh, you know, it's different. People... He didn't know he was a fool either. No. Ron Ron did not know he was a cow. He thought he was the king of the farm. And he was, for the most part. But uh, when you get attached to them and they become like family, it's different than when they pass. It's... It's like losing a family member. It really is. If you, I know some of y'all are going to say, Oh, John, that's a, you just have to experience it. You have to be a part of that people who are pet lovers like we are. And, uh, we love our pets. Don't we, Mom? Yeah. we have, I've canceled vacations before for pets. I have, I used to have one and we had to drive. I had to drive like 80 something miles to buy her dog food and it was like $50. And I'd go and drive that distance and get that food when she needed it because that's just what she'd have. I know, Mom, you're starving and you're saying, he won't hush. No, I was just thinking you was crazy. I am crazy. Yeah. That's, I'm going to show you. I'm going to pick you up. I'm not going to drop you, I don't think. Hopefully. So there's Mama's delicious pork chops. There's the pork and beans. Those are Van Camp. You can, you probably have your favorite brand. There's a little bit of the applesauce and the mashed potatoes. And there's Mama. Oh, yeah. And I'm not to eat though. No, Mama. I'm and too Mama's tough. Mama's I'm drinking. too tough to eat it. Mama's drinking zero Dr. Pepper. This is the one I've had. Well, ever if you haven't tried me. zero Dr. Pepper and you're into diet drinks, no sugar. This that's is a the keeper. one I've had since. I went in the garden. It does taste good, though, don't it, Mama? Yeah. Let's bless so, her. So, so. <laughs> and I'll let you eat, Mama. Dear Heavenly Father, we thank you so much. We thank you for this food. We thank you for the precious hands that prepared it. We thank you for the nourishment of our bodies, dear Lord. And we thank you for all your blessings on our country, dear Lord. We thank you for the 4th of July. We thank you for our independence. And Lord, we thank you for living in the greatest country in the world. We thank you for always loving us and always caring for us. And the Lord, we have many friends that have prayer requests. Some are spoken and some are unspoken. Lord, we just pray that you'll touch them, heal them, and be with them in every way possible. In your precious name we pray. Amen. Mm -hmm. All right, Mama. It's time to enjoy this beautiful meal that you prepared. And I'll get you some big old heaping help in the mashed potatoes. Okay. I know you ain't going to argue over that, are you? Sometimes Mama argues a little bit about what I give her. But not tonight, she ain't. Mama, you starved out, didn't you? So, your foreman wouldn't let you stop and have lunch, or? I ate cantaloupe for lunch. That's good. Uh, so, they wouldn't mean to you here while I was going to that restaurant. No. I ate two or three little thin pieces of cantaloupe. I'll come home on a Saturday. I'm not eating anything since I said, why? Wouldn't they let you? <laughs> wouldn't they let you eat? Wouldn't they have lunch right? There would be nobody here but Mama, so it's her not letting herself eat. That's the problem. I ate that candle. It was so good. It was cold and mm -hmm. so refreshing. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Oh, well, most well. Oh, I've got a plate full of way to gift it out here. Well, that's good, Mama. Yeah, that's if you good. were starving? Well, because I said I was starving, don't mean I eat that much. Don't mean you're going to eat? Not that much, I don't guess. Has anybody got a hate mama joke? Mmm. You tasted of the applesauce. The applesauce is good, Mama. Has anybody got a hate mama joke? We've not had one in a long time. We just sort of let that slip by. And I quit getting them together beforehand because... Um, you all always had so much better ones than I have. Hello, hey Brian, how are you? We're here. Stuff pork chops. Now Brian, we've had those before. What do you stuff yours with? We stuffed ours with cornbread stuffing, uh, like stovetop. 
uh, the cost of the cookbook includes shipping. Nella's taking care of the cookbooks there. So if you want to know about the cookbook, she just posted it. And uh, she might post the, she may post the uh, Tupperware in a minute, but if not, I will post it as soon as we get off of here. It looks delicious. Thank you, Liz Jones. Hey, Jason, how are you? What do you call a pig that knows karate, mama? Hey, mama, what do you call a pig that knows karate? Uh, karate. Uh, I don't know what just to say. I love that, Jason. How appropriate. Chop, uh, not a pork chop. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> she got it. Thank you, thank you, and thank you, Mama. I keep looking down. This little microphone is never here, and I keep thinking I've dropped something on the shirt. Is that not crazy? I guess chop, chop. my brain is not used to seeing something there. Hmm. You're like your daddy. You can't stand nothing. Get on your clothes. I can't stand none of that, Mama. I read something the other day, and it's had me sidetracked ever since I read it. And it was just one of those little things, and it said, Do you realize that you can always see your nose? Your brain just blocks it out. You can always see your nose. So I've been trying to notice this one. Can you see it? I can see it. If I look that way, I can see it. But my brain don't let me see it every time. Ain't that strange? Have y'all seen on Facebook those upside so down pictures? So that means if you see your nose, you don't have a brain to obstruct the view. <laughs> I don't know about that, Mama. <laughs> Just a chicken. You could be honest something, though. Probably like have y'all ever, have you all seen those um, upside down pictures and they look normal and then when you turn your phone up, they look hideous? You know, our brains are programmed to do things like that. And I just find all that stuff fascinating. I guess because I'm just a nerd like that. I don't know, but I do like that kind of stuff. Anything with psychology in it, I love it. You know, when I froze you all up, when Jason had that Thank you, Jason Keith, for that great pork chomp joke. John, how sweet of you to serve along. Well, Shirley, I do most of the time because Mama's arms are short and I want her to, and then too, I like to control a little bit. And if, if I let her do it, she'll get a little bit, a little bit. And I said, Mama, you gotta have at least a half a spoonful of something. Barbara says, hey y'all, made hamburgers and put a pack of onion soup mix in it. Mm -hmm. It was great with homemade cold salt. It is. We do that. It's, we call it granny steak. You can use chopped beef steak or whatever steaks on sale is what granny used. And um, we put the uh, lifted onion soup in it and make a gravy. It's delicious. Hey, Jane Scott. Uh, I picked my pork chops and eat it. No knife needed. Oh, you, I pick my pork chops. And it, you mean like pick it up like chicken, like people do chicken? I fully understand. I had a garden salad and a low carb burger. Trish, that sounds good. Sounds smart. She's a good girl. She's watching what she eats. Mama. Hey, Mama. Deborah, Deborah Persh, is that it? P U R C S C H? Deborah, I hope I didn't destroy your name. What's black and white and red all over? Black and white. And red all over. And red all over. <laughs> oh, I know that. Uh, it's a, a newspaper. Well, Mama, that's one answer, and I've heard that. And that's been the answer. But that's not what Deborah said. Black and white. And read all over. If it ain't a newspaper, a magazine, book. I wore a sunburn zebra. Sunburn zebra. <laughs> oh no. Yeah, but that was cute. Oh no. Oh. 
Susan Fox says, hey, mom, what's a stubbed pencil? A stubbed pencil? Mm-hmm. A stubbed pencil. She says, I forget it. It's just pointless. It's <laughs> pointless. That's good. Because I wouldn't have got that. And... Howdy, Rick. Hey, mama. Mm. What did the Dalmatians say after lunch? That is cute, Vivian. Oh, Rich. What did the Dalmatians say for after lunch? What did he say after lunch? He ate lunch, and what did he say? I'm saying spots. <laughs> he said, mm-mm. Good. <laughs> Good. What do you say after you eat something you really like? Mm mm. Good. That he was good stuff. Hit it. the spot. That hit the spot, baby. And that's cute. Mm. Very cute. I'm glad you all are coming up with some good ones. How you are coming up with good ones? They really are. Your supper looks good. Kay, it's good. Hey, Miss Kay Davenport. Childhood dinners when we had cold pork and beans to go with supper. That's what we have every time, Kay. We're just really into pork and beans and pork chops. We're sitting Miss Kay Davenport is the uh, mama's Tupperware team. Good to see you, Miss Kay. Maggie's thirsty. Mama's feeling good, Kay Fields. Now, Mama, on here, sometimes she, now, she, I don't know why she, why aren't you acting tired tonight, Mama? You see you've been working all day. I'm just. Slap happy. Hyped up. <laughs> By the but, time we when film. When I settle down, then after eating here, I'll be falling asleep. <laughs> By the time I get home from work and we film, Mama has been up since early this morning or early every morning. So by 7.30, she is a little tired. And some of y'all think it means she's not feeling good or she, some of people say, Mama don't really want to be on there. You can tell, but Mama wants to be on here, don't you, Mama? Yeah, I want to be on here. I'm just tired a lot of times. And the way you work, it's the way it has to work out. So it's just a little harder at others. And I've been busy, busy all day. And as old saying goes, I won't have to be rocked to sleep today. <laughs> Them sheets will feel good, won't they, Mama? Oh, yeah. Watch me get the big eye when I go to bed now after that. Hey, Mama. Oh, goodness. Two dogs, Timex and Rolex. What do you call the dogs? Watch know. dogs. Mama got it, and the answer's not even there. Watch dogs. Thank you so much. Well, here, Alice has it too. Watch dogs. That is cute. Watch dogs, Timex and Rolex. I need to get two Doberman pinchers to name on that. We had lemon chicken and steak fries. Oh, that sounds good, Lillian. I also heard a skunk with diaper rash. Wendy, is that the answer to black and white and red all over? <laughs> it's cute. What do you call a pig in a, what do you call a pig in a mud hole? Fran Johnson says. A pig in a mud hole. A ground hog, mama. A ground hog, that is good. Is your food too salty? Can you put a raw potato in it to help draw out some salt? Now, Brenda, it, I'm going to tell you. It does help. It helps. I've heard it doesn't. I've heard they say, oh, that's just in a wise tale. But we did that not long ago. We um, both salted something. Spaghetti, I think. Spaghetti? No. No, 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 no. We both thought it's a macaroni for macaroni oh, yeah. and cheese. And we don't drain our macaroni for macaroni and cheese because we put butter and salt and we cook it in it. I thought Mama said put some butter and salt in that. But she said I put salt, add some butter. So I had salted it too. So it was a little salty. 
and we put a whole potato in it and we boiled it and mama added a little water to get the boiling going and it was 10 times better oh yeah we could eat it <laughs> yeah so it does work to some extent it may not fix everything but you can try that uh well thank you elsie you make us smile too okay hey mom a chicken a pig and a cow walk into a barbecue. A chicken and a pig and a cow. Terry, you're not right. That's so funny. Terry Crow. Mm-mm. That is hilarious. Are you going to tell me? Mama, you finish it. I'm, hey, Mama, a chicken, a pig, and a cow walk into a barbecue. Well, the cow and the pig says eat chicken, and the chicken tells them to eat cow or pig one. A, a chicken, a pig, and a cow walk into a barbecue. Mm -hmm. The end. The end. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's hilarious, Terry. I like that. That's it. The end. <laughs> hey, Mama, why didn't a little pepper do archery? Now, Teresa, I know the answer to this one. Why didn't the little pepper do archery? Uh huh. Why didn't the little pepper do archery? Because it don't have no arms. No, Mama, because it didn't have an arrow. That's mm -hmm. cute. Uh, hello from Indy. Hey, Connie. Hello from Indy. How did you fix the pork chops? Vivian, we fixed them like my mama did and like mama has for years. She just washed them good, salt, pepper on both sides and fried them. We used avocado oil tonight because it's healthier and it has a high smoke point of 500 degrees and it fries stuff really well. And that's all she put on them and that's all she did to them. And here they are, look at that. Perfectly golden brown. Very tasty, no flour, no nothing on them. We do pork chops different. Sometimes we do this like somebody said a while ago. We put them in a skillet, put a little flour, and we make a gravy and put um, lift an onion soup on them and make smothered pork chops. And sometimes I just, we roll them in flour and I put a, I put a little bit of uh, ranch powder in them and roll them in that. Um, and they're really tasty that way, aren't they, Mama? Mm -hmm. And they don't, they don't overpower them in any way. But tonight, it's just old-fashioned salt and pepper and the pork chops. All of my growing up, this is the way we had them with the, just frying. But back then, we thank had you, lard Pam. instead of... <laughs> Pam Caraway, thank you. We hope you enjoy oh, that type of water. It was just salt and pepper and frying. Kim, we have not done that. Kim Salisbury, we have not done pork chops in the air fryer. Mama's a little apprehensive about stuff. Here's the way it goes. If mama ain't too hungry, or if it's something that chicken tenders or something like that, she'll risk it in the air fryer. But when it comes to pork chops or something like that, she says, now nah, I don't, I wanna make sure these are good. I ain't gonna put them, I don't wanna put them in the air fryer. I said, well, mama, we can try it sometimes and we will, but, um, you have to get mom out of that shell and you have to prove to her it works before she's comfortable doing stuff. But we will want my mom. Oh yeah. Try to get better. If nothing else, she'll put one in the air fryer and fry her some. She'll try it. Maybe. I'll let you have the air <laughs> We do a lot of split meals here. Uh, when I've done the pork chops with the ranch, I had to do half of them, salt and pepper, half of them with the powder. And then she tasted them and she liked them. She said, I'll eat them. You can fix them that way sometime. Mm -mm -mm. I was growing up eating plain and simple. And I like it. I like it. I like the way you cook, Mama. That's what we had. That's what we ate. But Kim will try that sometime. Hey y'all, hey Ruth, how you doing? Hey Linda. 
Folks, I hope you all got the big plans for the 4th of July. Maybe we can talk about it tomorrow and you can tell us what you're all going to do. I still don't know what we're doing. Mama has never told me. <laughs> I don't know. And I've asked her every day this week. Okay. Mama, do you know when the 4th of July is? Mm -hmm. I know, and we'll get something together. We'll so, have food to eat. Whether my sister comes or not, that's a question. Well, I was going to see if you're going to invite people. Hey, it's going to work it. What you want to do? We'll have to get supplies tomorrow. We will. What are you doing this weekend, Mama? Well, I've got a meeting tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Mama. You have a meeting in the morning. And you're going to go to the farmer's market? I'm going to try to go to the farmer's market first. Well, that's more than farmer's market this week. Oh, it's the whole fourth. It's the fourth of July. Host shebang. You gonna go down there and we'll have a lot of politicians down there this year. I may have to year. run get produce and come back and do my meetings and then go to the other parts of it. <laughs> it's to make be a it busy work time. out. I can already tell my chore board will be full tomorrow. Um and then we'll have that they'll probably have I guess we'll have farmer's market stuff down there. I don't know. We'll see. I, I don't know. I think they were talking about it last Saturday that they'd be there. Okay. If we go, we'll take you with us. If not, if mom will make a quick trip down there and a quick trip back and she'll be done with what she did last week. She said, you go in the farmer's market? And I said, mm, if you want to. And she said, well, now I can run down there and grab what I need and come right back if you want me to, which <laughs> I thought was a signal like, I ain't wanted to fill around. Let me just go get what I need. And I did. And she did. And it worked out great. Folks, we're going to say goodnight. We've been on here forever, but we enjoy it so much. And we just enjoy having you all and um, spread our page out. And uh, Thanks for all the good jokes. They were thank you. It's wonderful. I hope these microphones have worked tonight. I hope you could hear Mama. Uh, some of you said you could, and some of you said you couldn't. It's good. I hope you can. Um, but uh, spread our page out, and um, if you can, go to our regular page and follow. Uh, we don't have the blue check mark yet. I am going to look into that a little bit more. Um, you know, the rejection of it rejects two or three times. It's And the only reason we're interested in the blue check mark is just so you all will know confidently you're on the right page. And when that YouTube, they stole that again, you know, or duplicated it then that made me want to make sure we could always do something. So we're going to look into that a little bit closer. And uh, we just love having y'all here. And really and truly, we get, if we don't come on here, it's because our schedule won't allow us because every chance we get, we're here. And we just love being here with y'all. Y'all are the best ever. You really are. And uh, we just love it. And uh, keep on coming back. And uh, we'll just keep on cooking. Sometimes we don't cook. Last week we had bologna sandwiches, which was absolutely delicious. Uh, coffee time, like I've told you before, it's not really a cooking show. We do cook with y'all because we enjoy that, but we take you to the farmer's market. We take you to the wherever we're going, whatever we're doing. If we're outside messing around, I'll say, Mom, let's go live and show them this. Let's do it. You know, Mama, it's, we just do what we do, and we love taking y'all along with us. Some of y'all say, you know, y'all, uh, we look forward to seeing y'all every evening. Well, we look forward to seeing you all, uh, and we just, we dearly love it. And, uh, I missed one evening. Well, yeah, you was in the garden. That was Wednesday. Oh, yeah. And then I thought I heard you in the... I don't know what I heard y'all, but I told you, I said, Mama, I think you're here in the garage. She came in the front door. And I said, Mama, I thought you was in the garage. She said, I wasn't in the garage. <gasps> I go to the garage and I look. Nothing was wrong, but Nike heard you too because she went to the door. Mm -hmm. I don't know what it was. Y'all have a great night. We will, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. Y'all make you some memories. Do something fun. It's the 4th of July. Get out with the family. Enjoy yourselves. Be careful. You know, COVID is still a real thing. We've had several in our area that has had it. And uh, be yeah, careful. Yeah, yeah. And watch them fur babies this weekend. If you hear firecrackers, you know the fur babies ain't happy with it, wherever you are. Uh, make sure you get your tags on them. Make sure you get your phone number and your whatever you need to put on there. To get your babies back. Uh, so many fur babies get lost. Cats too. Cats 
you know, cats act like they can conquer the world, but they get scared too. So watch your cats, watch all your outside animals. I know y'all get tired of hearing me say that, but you know, I just feel like I should tell y'all, watch your fur babies. Maggie won't be running off because we won't, Maggie won't get out of the house. <laughs> if she runs off, it'll be running to under the bed. If it's going to be rainy and far crackers, we can't get her out of the house. She's looking at you, Mama, like, is she talking about me? She, Maggie She's looked mad at, at me. I went to the garden and didn't take her. Maggie anymore. looked at Mama and said, don't embarrass me in front of my friends. Yeah. <laughs> Folks, y'all have a great night. We, Lord willing, we'll see you tomorrow. We'll be up to something. And if we cook something, if we have something for you, you all be right in the middle of it. So y'all have a wonderful night. Enjoy yourselves. God bless you. And uh, we'll see you tomorrow. Say good night, Mama. Good night, Mama. And God bless you all. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.